I'm gonna show you guys how to beat Mendoza. Suit only, silent assassin, on master difficulty in around eight or nine minutes. We're gonna do it from the true starting point, which is winery viewpoint with default stuff. You just need the fiber wire and the coin. It doesn't matter what your weapon is. You just need fiber wire and coin, which are the default things that you start with. So things are gonna go real fast. I'll try to explain as I go, but I'm gonna go ahead and hit play and we're gonna start the timer once it's you know, mostly loaded. So we are going to skip the opening cutscene. It's very important you skip this and then grab a coin. Throw a coin over here. This oh. is how you soft lock her. You're gonna go up here now. You're free to talk to Diana. You don't wanna skip that. it immediately. You don't want Tamara to, uh, oh. if you do it too late, Tamara won't get stuck. So now Tamara's soft locked. So that exploit's kind of crucial to get in this speed run strat that I'm about to do. So get behind this guy. We're gonna throw a coin at that ball over there, but you gotta wait. There's a guard that is coming. And you've got to get all four guards in order to be able to get uh, Tamara like this. So, right there is fine. It doesn't have to be perfect. Just in that area. Now watch your mini map at the bottom left. His dot will appear and then wait a moment then throw it. There he is. Okay, go ahead and throw it. Jeez. Walk back just a little bit. Don't crouch yet or he'll act weird on you. Get behind him, start crouching. Wait for that guy to turn his head. Okay, that guy behind the car turned his head. Now you can go ahead and get this guy. Now sprint crouch over to this guy. Grab him. You should be safe from this angle, so don't even bother looking. If you somehow magically get caught, then just restart, whatever. But nine, like 100% of the time, you should be good. Grab him by the arms. I have better luck when grabbing by the arms. Come out from the car, but not too far. It'll reset tomorrow. Go between the V and the line on the front of the car. If you come in straight with them like that, uh, you should be able... To make sure they don't get seen so between the v and the line if you're too far left or right then the guys will see it okay now throw the coin on that weird square over there it's like a discolored square okay now make sure you still have a coin on because sometimes uh 47 will swap to a random gun for no reason here it's like right now he didn't normally he does i don't know why he just does sometimes Okay, right here, grab him from the right. That'll give you the best chance of not getting seen. Generally, you'll be okay, but I have had times where I just randomly get seen for no reason from that guy. So there is a little element of RNG on that one, but most of the time, like 9 out of 10 times, I'm good as long as I throw it at that square and as long as the coin doesn't bounce somewhere insane. So, again, line it up. Okay. Now this one, uh, just, just throw it, you know, other side of the leaves. Doesn't matter as much this mm -hmm. time. You just want to make sure you throw it far enough past the leaves or else you'll see the bodies from the uh, other side of the car. Again, make sure you have the Over. coin equipped because sometimes 47 just swaps to the Uzi here. Right now he didn't. I have no idea why. Once he's at the square, that's far enough to where Tamara won't hear it. Go ahead and grab that. And now I'm going to do the safety strat, which is grab the coin because we actually need the coins later. And the more coins you have, the safer you'll be at one point. Go up here with the fiber wire or whatever. Snap your neck, however. Get Tamara. Tamara's done. Okay, on to the next thing. So we're making decent time. Uh, grab the brick. Uh, there's a part up ahead where if you have bad timing, you get on a bad cycle, uh, it, there's a lot to watch out for and you might get screwed. There's a guy above and uh, if you're on a bad cycle, he might be too close and he'll hear the brick throw that we're about to do. And if that happens, there's really like nothing you can do about it. You can try to watch the minimap and figure it out, but it's just sketchy. It's just, it's a really, it's, it's the run killer. The run killer is this place that we're coming up to right now. So, uh, right through here. It's not as, it's at the other side of this. There's a big run killer. So there's a crowbar up here. You have to grab this crowbar. So start crouch walk so that guy doesn't hear you. Grab the crowbar. Okay. Come over through here. Crouch walk past this point. We're going to need a coin and a brick for this part. So, uh, we're going to swap to the coin now. We're going to go over here. We're going to throw the coin as far as we can over there. And now we're going to see where's this guy looking. Okay, we're good. He's doing what you want to get it like this where you can jump over here and now we're going to swap to the brick and come over here make sure he turns back he can actually see you from this angle if he's not turned right okay so now grab his gun because people someone does some come through here eventually now the scariest run killer part go all the way out watch around the corner corner peek watch their heads that guy's looking this way the second guy is the guy you'll see you see him looking this way he looked away go this is your chance uh this is the run killer spot it's the scariest part of the whole run so uh, go through into here, and this is basically disposing his body. Get him into here, drop it, go to the gun, drop the gun that you got because you don't want that gun on your back. It'll really screw you. Okay, so uh, we caught this cycle rather early. Uh, we can't really go now. We just got to wait. 
So now we just wait and wait and wait. Go ahead and get your fiber wire ready. Although it might swap you to the crowbar actually later on. So never mind. Don't even bother with that. So uh, we just wait here. And if we try to go, we might get seen. Uh, honestly, I could probably test this and optimize that more. than We might have been able to slip right through then. Uh, I have not tested it fully. So uh, wait here. It's a shame there's not another brick in the speed run because I would totally brick this guy once those guys leave and then just drag him up there into the bushes. But uh, there's not another brick to grab, unfortunately, or baseball or anything like that. So uh, I could throw a coin at some point and try to sneak past him, but that'd also be kind of sketchy. So once he's past you at 90 degree angle, you can go ahead and go through. Go up here, go into the bushes on the left. Those guys are actually, you can just, oh god, he's watching. Wait for his head. Wait for his head. I don't know why he's staring. There you go. Okay. <laughs> be careful. Be mindful of those guys. They can also be a run killer, but that's not as scary. Unlock with the crowbar this iron gate. Now crouch walk in. Know. Now this place, as far as... It seems like this place is just scripted. Weird. Like the I first time you come here, fun. everyone will just spawn into their cycles immediately when you first come here. And if so, that is what you want. So go here, and this is going to be the scariest feeling thing you'll do in the entire run. I've never been caught ever doing this. Even though there's a guy right there, I've never been caught doing this. So it should be good. I've done this like 10 plus times, never been caught. But knowing my luck, I'll get caught right now. Okay, so once he crosses this line, jump in here, crouch run over. Okay, I don't know how that didn't make an insane amount of noise. That I got like the weird animation. I'm not really sure what the hell that was about. I guess I was sprinting when I do. You need to slowly go up to him. Somehow that guy still didn't hear though. Okay, go out through here. Close that. Now go over here. Watch your mini-map to be careful. You got to get through here. Okay, so we can just run now. Oh, now this is the guy. Now you can save some time. Let's get off the fiber wire, though. Do not use the fiber wire. You're going to ruin your run. Uh, it'll actually save you time if you just if you just take him out. That guy won't notice. You'll be good. Uh, grab his gun. Grab the guy. Pull him over into the bushes. Okay, grab his gun. Drop his gun. You don't want it on your back. Now sneak past. Okay, now we get up here. Get into these bushes. And now this is the other run killer spot. This spot is super sketchy. Go to the coins. I only have three. I should have had four. I think I forgot to grab one. There was one on the table when we jumped through the window. I forgot to grab it. So we got to wait for that guy to get really far away. Uh, this part's really scary feeling. If you do it right, you should be good. But we got to get that guy far enough away to where the guard will grab this coin we're about to throw. So we throw a coin the back of the cars okay and then get ready with your next coin and throw it over here okay as soon as he moves throw the next coin okay get away from the move sprint through here okay now we're good now it's speed run time we just got to go as fast as we can just fastest path possible to uh the exit which is through here Gonna go through here. Go down here. And there she is. Here's our exit. Alright, and Tango. Alright, and time. Eight minutes and ten seconds. So we did Mendoza, Master Difficulty, eight minutes, ten seconds. That's one way to do it. Uh you probably could kill uh What's her name? Now, uh, you strike at the heart. Tamara, you could probably kill Tamara Edwards. legitimately some way you know in about two and a half minutes you? or so. Why but uh, it'll put you in a bad position for this because she's over he in this area. And, and then you got to run all the way back up through he here, all the way through the stairs. So will be his it's downfall. probably fastest, What's I would assume, plan? to do it the way to I was doing. Uh, unless someone finds some way to get her in less time some other way. Just because the way I killed her, you're in position already to uh, run straight to that part you got to get to to get through the flowers and all that. If, if, assume you're going to do that route. No, there's, there's probably a faster way to speed run it, but this way is lightning fast. Lightning fast way to kill uh, both the targets in Mendoza and do Silent Assassin suit only at the same time. It's And once you get it down, uh, it's actually pretty reliable. The, there are those two parts that are that are kind of sketchy, but the main part is that the beginning of the flowers, when you got to cross through the flowers, you got to knock that guy out and drag him to the flowers. That is the run killer spot. Everything else can be controlled almost perfectly. But that spot right there has a lot of RNG based on your timing of coming into it. 
like if you come in five seconds early five seconds late kind of thing it can change how he's turning his head it can change where people are on the thing above you like there's all these cycles going on in that spot and they all converge in one area and it's just uh the sketchiest part of the whole cycle that you're trying to catch right there but if you're wanting to know how to do this on master difficulty suit only silent assassin in record time you know to get a super awesome personal best now you know how to do it this is the fastest way i know of of how to beat uh this mission on suit only silent assassin master difficulty if this video helped you consider helping us by subscribing to our channel tap this button over here and hit the red subscribe button. Subscriptions help a lot. Even if you never watch our videos again. Ha 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 ha!